While the government today is looking to clean up shanty towns in the country, property owners have been put on notice to either clean up these areas or face prosecution within 30 days. Now, the owners in turn have reportedly given residents living on their properties notice as well to clear out within that time. Janaya Noel Ferguson visited a number of those shanty towns today, and residents there are not too pleased with the ultimatum. I'm screaming on my government. I ain't screaming on no other government. I ain't screaming for FNM. PLP, please come help me. Residents that occupy the shanty towns in New Providence are up in arms over the 30-day notice given by the government. They say that that time frame is not enough and the government should at least give them 90 days. People are fighting them. They see what they Okay? They give them chance, give people chance. It cool now. The only thing we need from the government is a little help. Give us some water, some, some electricity. We don't mind paying, you know. The only thing we need is the help to get us started. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go back Haiti. When go man say, I gotta go back Haiti. Anyone think I do? Many of the residents we spoke to today have lived in the community for decades. The Shanty Town report issued Wednesday noted that shanties are like many cities. We found evidence of that as we visited one of the areas and found convenience stores, churches, and so much more. We're told between four to 500 residents occupy such communities. The report also highlighted the alarming environmental concerns, including contaminated water, which reportedly tested positive for fecal matter, the improper rearing of livestock, and unsanitary living conditions, which has led to an infestation of rodents. They ain't giving us no help. They barely let the garbage people come around here. They started coming around here. They stopped coming around here. So where you want us to put this trash you talking about, we got around here. Now, Acting Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis says as the government looks to rid the country of shanty towns, they face a major challenge. A number of persons who are living in these shanty towns are, are, are legally here. A lot of them are not. Those who are not, we're going to attempt to, to work with the, with, with, with the NGOs, the churches and, and other uh, interested stakeholders to see how we can have them repatriated. You think only Haitians stay back here? Only Haitians don't stay back here? I, I think we have to just continue to be vigilant and, and, and educate those persons who, who are here legally to, uh, about the state of uh, affairs when it comes to, to creation and or the continuing existence of uh, towns like this. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.